every single cancer, the death rate has decreased. I never thought I'd see that. In the old days, when we were interns, you had rotations that you had to be on. But no one wanted to be in the cancer ward. And since my name began with a V, I was randomized to go to oncology. And I loved it. I found people very appreciative for anything you could do, and there was always something you could do. Well, I came to Arizona because a mentor of mine, Dr. Sidney Salmon, a wonderful man who started the Arizona Cancer Center, uh, had pancreatic cancer. And Sid uh, said, take over this dream, Dan, and continue to build it. And I'm glad we did. I think at that time we didn't realize what that would launch, but uh, genomics was just a general term. I knew the smartest person that we could recruit would be Jeff with his background in genomics, and I'm so glad that he decided to come back home. We're concentrating our efforts uh, at TGen and Honor Health in pancreatic cancer, which is going to be the third leading cause of death this year in the United States. The reason it is is because the other cancers, the mortality has fallen so dramatically, but pancreas cancer is a particularly difficult one. I think the hardest time is when you really don't have anything else to offer. But then over the years, I've learned that you always is something that you can do for people, always. So as a doc, that's the most important thing is to be there, but also to make sure we stay sharp on what new technologies and what new therapies are there. So we make sure we don't miss anything for them. And now we're getting ideas of how to put the right combinations together and whether they're going to respond uh, to a therapy. And we're learning that uh, the best way to tackle this is what everybody is referring to as personalized medicine. Many of us call it precision medicine. And I think what we've been good at is recognizing early where it works and having a path to approval. And it, it just comes down to one simple thing. Listen to your patients. And I learned uh, from my dad to listen. My mother gave me that background and intellect. My dad gave me the work ethic. And uh, we're going to keep our eye on the ball and keep after this disease. Patients are people, not patients, but people are depending on us to do that. And I'm looking forward to this next generation out there who's really gonna cure all of cancer. I have no doubt that'll be the case.